All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And of course, thanks for subscribing. Truly appreciate the support. We are back at it with FSD beta 11.4.7. And while the release notes look largely the same, we're going to test it out and see what's really changed, specifically focusing on our regression testing. And then quickly after that, we're going to be focusing on doing something new, a new drive, a new path that we haven't done before to see how FSD fares. Now, I wanted to take a minute to, to release this video a little bit later because Elon was teasing uh, doing a live stream of version 12, which he did yesterday, Friday evening. And uh, for the most part, it went pretty good, pretty smooth. Wasn't as leaps and bounds ahead of everything else, uh, like he said. Uh, and then he also had one sort of intervention where it tried to run a red light where it was a green turn arrow and it sort of tried to leap out there. So that's something that I know the media is going to run away with. But for the most part, it was pretty smooth. And I think the thing that made it even smoother was just the fact that he didn't have to have any nags. So he was able to just go freely, hold his phone free handed. Uh, not a good idea. Elon shouldn't do that. And basically uh, showcase what the car can do without having any nags. And that's really a testament to just the alert driver. So I would really love to see that trickle down to some of the more uh, experienced and tenured uh, testers and owners out there. Um, so they can let they can basically use that same level of comfort and confidence um, to be able to test out their version, whatever that version is. All right. So we're just going to be here on 11.4.7. This isn't the complete rewrite. This isn't the AI driven situation. This is just a, a step forward from the last build that we had. But we're going to take it out for a spin and see what it does. I'll activate here from the shoulder and go. Always stop here, let him go, and then we go. Pretty congested up here, should be a good test for FSD beta pedestrians, lots of cars, scenarios that force it over the double yellow line. As we come up and approach our first turn, look at this, good job waiting for this car. It's waiting for this car, letting this car go. Maybe let both of the cars go and then go, which is great behavior. That's really, really good, really human-like. And now it goes. Great job to start. Interesting scenario here. One car wants to go right, one car wants to go left. Nice classic there. And here we go. Stops way ahead of the limit line, which is not great. And then it kind of goes for it. It's all clear. Big pothole, still hits that every time. Slows down extra precaution for the pedestrians, which is great. Those are what we call predictive slowdowns. Just anticipation of what the pedestrian might do. So just kind of takes caution. So far, so good. So first turn was good. Can't do anything about the pothole, but it is what it is. Coming up to our second turn, I'm gonna leave it at the limit. I shall bust, bump it up just for parity. I'll bump it up just for parity to 30, because I always do 30 around here. And we're coming up to our first turn. A little slow, a little cautious, nothing wrong with that. Just not the most confident it's ever been. A nice good turn here. Good job there, passes the second turn winding road and a parked car kind of close to that car but i'm okay with that could just be my perception of being a, a, a passenger in the driver's seat but so far so good if it's the same as the last build i'm okay with that some slight tweaks a little bit of so that van approaching at high speeds kind of evasive maneuvers there i'm okay with that great control on the turn not too close to the curb we like that as well and so far i'm not getting beat over the head with nags so that's also a good sign i know this isn't the alpha build that elon has where there's no nags at all but this is still pretty good and confidence inspiring so far comfortable and confidence inspiring for those that are new to the channel we measure um, safety confidence decision making and comfort as a measure of how well the system is doing creeping up the left turn Car coming on the left and car coming on the right. Creeps up. It should go after this car right here now. Go now. 
Go now. It doesn't want to go. Has a tent because a skateboarder is there. Not good. But okay, extra precaution is not a bad thing. There we go. Good. Okay. Good job getting out there now. Didn't go so far out there. So I actually like that one. It didn't go too far out there. Now, when I said not good, it's not good for the people around us who are perceiving that we have a window to go and we're not going. But it is good in the sense that it's taking extra precaution, making sure it has a really, really clear opening before it commits for that particular turn. So overall, it was very good, just not as comfortable for those around us and for those who are in this in the car who think that it has a window to go, which can which can you know increase and get better over time. really liking the delay on the nag here um i'm not sure if it's gone completely but this is this is actually really comfortable um, and confident and inspiring that it doesn't nag me every every time when autopilot first came out uh autopilot beta that is um it actually didn't have nags except for when it needed your assistance and that was typically on like larger bends in the road and this wasn't this was highway autopilot. This wasn't city streets, but that's kind of what, what I would expect from autopilot in a more wide release is to say, hey, give me a nag when you need my help or when I'm definitely not paying attention. So if you're using eye tracking, make sure I'm paying attention to the road and beyond paying attention to the road. If the car needs help, hey, I hit construction zone or hey, I hit a situation that I can't deal with. Boop, boop, I need help. That's what I would expect. But right now, so far, this is. This is really good. It's not nag me yet. I'm sure it'll nag me soon, but if it's if it's later than this, this is this is actually very usable now. Both the level of comfort, the confidence that it's showing, and the lack of nags, which in you know typically gives an indicator of, of lack of confidence in certain instances. Here's our special turn. What's gonna happen here? Is it gonna blip out? Didn't blip out. Didn't blip out that funny, funky intersection where it tries to like blip and go left. Didn't happen here again. So again, whatever that is, it looks to be corrected and resolved. So great job for Tesla on that one. And now it should be staging this right, right here, getting over. Good job. And then make the right turn. Lots of pedestrians out here. Does a great job visualizing everybody here on the screen. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to zoom in a bit so you can see it. Great job visualizing everybody out here. It's gonna take this turn, may go a little bit, it's going a little bit wide, but it's okay. I'd rather go wide than hit the curb. Good job, excellent job, wow. I'm impressed, I'm impressed. Um, I'm a little speechless. <laughs> I'm a little speechless. That is the end of our trip. And I, I guess I have to say that was pretty flawless. That was pretty flawless. Let me pull over here for a minute here so I can gather my thoughts. Um, wow. <laughs> that, uh, that was special. It takes on more impact for me because I just watched Elon drive with no nag for 40 something minutes. And I was hoping that we would get something like that in the near future. And, and right now I got zero nags on this drive. And this was a short drive, very simple drive, but I got no nags and the car was very comfortable, very confidence inspiring in everything it did. I didn't feel weird at any point and I didn't feel like I needed to grab the yoke. Um, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, <laughs> this is great. Um, this is a great build. And I'm sure other people are testing it now and they might not have the similar experience based on where they are, based on the roads they're traveling. I'm going to go right after this. I'm going to publish it as a separate video, but I'm going to go right after this and take another drive to see if this was a fluke or not. But wow, um, I got to I just got to give it up. You know, in terms of in terms of safety, I have to give it a nine. I'm not going to give tens away easily, but I'm going to give it a nine in terms of safety. Extra caution and precaution for everything that it did around pedestrians, around cars. Um, and the different road conditions. I even noticed something that you might not have picked up is that we passed a car when the police car was passing this way. We passed a car whose door was, door was a little bit ajar. It actually kind of shifted a little bit over, noticing that the door was ajar a little bit. 
a little small thing I didn't probably pick up on camera. You probably can't convey on camera, but that's something I noticed sitting in the car. Um, so that was great. Um, so safety gets a nine. Um, in terms of comfort, that also gets a nine. It was very comfortable. It took it took its time and did the right things. Didn't make any uh, any any abrupt maneuvers. I didn't feel uncomfortable. Um, again, obviously the issue with the delay of the unprotected left, meaning going when we think it should go versus taking its time and waiting for a wider gap. I'm okay with that because it's a safer choice. So that's a nine. Decision-making on that same vein is also going to get a nine. It made all the right decisions. It let the cars pass when we needed to let the cars pass. It then went forward from there, took its time, uh, made the right decision, made the safest decision. So that's also getting a nine. And um, in terms of confidence, everything it did exuded confidence. And the fact that I wasn't getting nags also gives me a sense of confidence that it knows what it's doing and that it can take care of everything and doesn't need my uh, my assistance every time or doesn't need my hand on the yoke every time. Now, again, this is not necessarily for the wide release. I think this is specifically for um, some of the early beta testers and employees and things like that. But I've been riding the system long enough. I know when to take over. I know when the car needs help. So to not get that constant interval nag makes the experience much more enjoyable and much more usable in that regard. So this was probably the best um, this is probably the best drive uh, that we've had so far to date in FSD beta. Sure, some turns were smoother on turn two in terms of the speed that it went, but in terms of just being competent and getting from point A to point B, not causing any problems, causing any issues, and making me uncomfortable in the cabin, this was probably the best. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you think about this particular drive. Um, did you like what you see? Did you get 11.4.7 if you're an early tester? If so, chime in. Let us know what your, your experience is in your coast. I'm going to take this right back out and stay tuned for the next video. Until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.